Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. He beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a coach fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Mena! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of the muscle, Cyprus, the Destroyer! All right, you can lose a lot, man. Once you've been my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Magomedov's trying for a Kimura here. Yeah. Now he falls back into the finishing position. <laughs> Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you doing? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. To grab everything in tight, make sure your elbows are in, make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space for landing two for Brian Montgomery. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice neutral punch. And they separate. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. 35 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. 
and again shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuffed. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And they separate. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Steve Blanco, on that offense. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now he lands early and he lands off. Back and forth we go! Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there, oh, I show the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Medov's back in side control. Side control now. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, trying to pass here. As Wilbur Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. So we crossed the 30-second mark in our opening round. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Nermago Medov's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the recap. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. All right, single call time now. Marco Medov's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Watch that the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Nice strike. Boy, Thai Plum. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuffy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded in the match, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Three minutes to go. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise. 
Rose with a knee strike there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, collar tie. 82 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And a pretty good clip tonight, DC. Landing with 64. Whoa! Both guys appeared to land there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! Nermanko Medov goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh! Marco Medov's got a pretty double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Final seconds here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Nice liver shot lands. Unable to land with that punch. Well, oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmango Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmago Medov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tight clinch. 
kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medov. Oh, that straight punch. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes to go in round three. Back to the feet now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, what a punch. He lands a big knee to the body. Clean with the right hook. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye is starting to shut. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Huge block there. Big punch to the clinch. Ooh, nice knee to the body, very nice. in the single collar tie. Big little kick lands under the elbow. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight... Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the destroyer. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.